Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with a look at the DC Collectibles action figure of Man Bat from Batman the Animated Series. Now, there's a lot of things about this figure I like, but I gotta start off with some negatives. First off, his right leg is really, really loose and uh, at, at the hip joint, and his left leg, this little swivel thing here, is really loose. So getting him to stand up with his, his wings out is just damn near impossible, because um, the legs just aren't stable enough. And even if they were stable, he's so top-heavy, like you need a figure stand to get him to stand up, because there's so much weight at the top, considering how little his legs are, and the... Uh, the span of his wings adds weight outward, so uh, this figure standing is kind of a problem. Now, let's focus on some positive. The first thing is the sculpt is solid, especially his head. I think this head sculpt is just perfect. I mean, just look at it. The actual dimensions of his head, the actual design of it. It just perfectly represents how he looks in the animated series. I love the paint within his ear, but man, the shape of his ear, the shape of his head, his cheeks, his his brow, I mean, the paint on his teeth. I mean, even inside the mouth there, there is like a, a darker red paint, and then there's a pink paint for his tongue. His eyes look good. I just think this head sculpt is amazing. One of the drawbacks, though, to this is the articulation of his head's really kind of limiting. Uh, it, you look at the range of motion, it's not a whole lot. It's about that much going up and down, and I wish it could go maybe a little higher than that. Uh, it turns left and right, but the tilting leaves a bit to be desired. Um, but you look how, like, the articulation at uh, that mid-torso cut is great. And it actually can turn side to side. There's no hip joint, but the fact that the top section can turn like that is great. But with the body turning down, I wish his head could come up a lot higher. Oh well. The actual articulation on the wings is pretty strong. Uh, my left arm droops a lot, though. The right one stays pretty good wherever you put it. So that's kind of a bummer, because it always falls down. Um, I'm glad they got rid of the little visible holes for the leg joint. Series 1 was full of all sorts of complaints from fans uh, with you know brittle joints and the visible hole in the front and they uh, took their time for Series 2 to delay it a bit and work on some quality control issues and that's noticeable. I think the range of motion here, uh, the quality control, like they had paint issues and the paint on this thing is perfect so I think what DC Collectibles has done to fix their issues is much appreciated with the second wave. But the uh, loose joint here is a bit of a problem for me. But the knee joint's pretty cool. I like the range of motion. I just wish this one wasn't so loose. Now, you can pop out his wings for a second set of wings, which I think is pretty damn awesome. So let's do that now. Wow, that was really, really easy. Now, these second set of wings are a really good idea, in my opinion, because... They could have just made this one set of wings that are really long and added joints to them that would break it up. But then you'd kind of ruin this design. And I think instead of adding a joint here and cutting the wing, doing this second set that's like shorter and bent really honors the design of both. And I like that not only can he put his arms up like that, but this is like the figure where you can kind of lower his arms like so. And he looks really, really cool and badass that way. Again, this left joint, it's got to be the hole and not the actual arms, is a little loose. But at least it's a little bit better than the uh, previous wing. But look at the design on that wing. It's just awesome. And his little hands, his little fingers up here, it looks really, really good. We'll go in for a closer look there. Man, that's awesome looking. I think this is a really, really, really well-designed figure. Now, it took me a while, but I finally got this figure with the shorter wings to stand in a position where he didn't fall over. Um, I, I gotta stress, though, that you can't achieve this with his wings out, because even then it throws the weight off a bit. And I've got that loose leg joint. So he's gonna need to use his figure stand, which all these figures come with. Uh, but I really like that this one features, you know, they all feature the little character artwork, which I think is really, really cool. 
It's curious that the artwork features him hunched over with his head up, but the figure can't achieve that. But um, I'm going to go ahead and assemble the uh, figure stand for you now. You just pop that little part in, and then up here you have this other section that not only... It, well, that sucks. Nah, it goes back in easily, so it doesn't suck that much. So the clamp opens up, and then this part slides so you can get not only the figure held in, but you can kind of position forward and back along the figure stand. Now, he also comes with a few teeny, tiny, itty, bitty accessories, like this little tape recorder, and it's super tiny, but the little details on the side of it are really cool. And he comes with three pill bottles. I mean, these things are really tiny. Um, they're the little, you know, bottles with his serum in them. There's no, like, artwork on the label, but you can totally tell what they are, and I dig that. Even using this figure stand, it was a giant pain in the ass to try to get this figure to stand. I mean, I'm using the little arm clip, but not really. Even when you put the clip around his waist, because his legs are so loose, especially that left leg, he kept sliding down the whole time. Ultimately, he's not even really using the clamp. I'm just cheating and having him lean back onto the arm. And even leaning him onto the arm, he kept sliding down because of his left leg. I've got his left leg tucked in just enough that hopefully it won't you know, slide, but it's already dipped down to the side. You can see how crooked it is. But you know what? Whatever. Despite the fact this figure can't stand for crap, I like the design of this figure a lot. He looks really cool. And one of the cool things is, you know, these figures retail for about 22 bucks. I saw this and I thought, oh crap, it's going to be like a deluxe figure. And you know what it retailed for? 22 bucks. Even though it's got big packaging, it still counts as a regular figure. And I think with the two arms, you get a lot of bang for your buck. But man, just be careful trying to get this thing to stand. Hopefully you have a better time than I do. Thanks for watching.